Hey guys, Tarek here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Vaux Farmlands. Playing today's pointing in the north, we have C. Blanco playing his US forces, straight away locking in Mechanized Company. Coming up with him is Icarus, playing as the Brits, who has Royal Engineers, Royal Artillery, and Mobile Assault. Facing off against them on the left, we have Bleach Drinker playing as OKW, straight away locking in Luftwaffe ground forces. Teaming up with him is Prodigy, playing as Ossia, who has Jaeger armor. Oh, uh, forget that, he's gone for elite troops straight away. For so, uh, Bleach Drinker, I'm not sure exactly who this is. Uh, player card says they're from uh, Korea. Some Smurf account, though, doesn't have too many games on it. But yeah, uh, other than that, very high ranks. Just checking through those. Icarus and C. Blanco rank 7 as allies. Just uh, simply close the other one. Uh, rank 6. Rank 6 Axis teams. So yeah, very uh, high level matchup here for the 2v2s. Few wee skirmishes, but Icarus wins the race to the garrison here, just ends up with the control of the fuel in the south. Looks like maybe Bleach Shrinker lining up for some kind of harassing play, maybe on the cutoff or something instead. Meanwhile, we've got the Jeep now crewed, but it is up against Green Dears, you know, so they do have access to the Faust, not quite as good against Ossia as it is against OKW. And uh, interesting, just crushing a few fences, opening up a few retreat paths. And here we go, gonna run straight into a green deer and take a foul straight away. Let's have a squad nearby for uh, repairs. More green deer is coming for the chase down. Jumps out for double repairs here. Green deer is coming in. We just want to take the first volley. Here you go, jumps back in. Faust now, well, the engine damage removed at least. Rockman ch chased across the road but takes so much damage from the double Green Deer focus fire. The rifle's coming in from the other angle though. Ultimately, they do end up winning out. You know, there's one more squad up here in the north. An interesting prodigy going for a three green build. I mean, a four green build over building uh, three greens and a machine gun. Interesting stuff. Okay, we've got a universal carrier from Icarus. Looks like uh, he did lose control of his cutoff briefly, but the UC is there. We're activating the suppressing fire mode. So he's trying to uh, ring around the Rosie, trying to avoid too much damage. Maybe allow for the squad to get in there for the Faust. No, still no uh, truck up. Or bleach drinker is actually floating quite a lot of resources. Probably should have gone for his next uh, unit or truck by now. A little bit late on the uptake there. And a five man upgrade for Icarus pretty early on as well. Jim Pioneer's threatening the squad. A reposition. Could jump in the building here. It's got two windows. Are those windows open? Maybe be too bad. But instead, repositions jumps over the wall, allowing the Stoom Pioneers to get a 1v1 here. I think they could have forced the retreat, but maybe he's worried about uh, losing the squad on retreat to the Universal Carrier. Infantry squad trained and ready to go. Either way, yeah, I'd say the Allies getting off to a stronger start so far this match. Watch out. And we're going to see a battle group going up in a slightly forwards position. Not like extremely forwards, but... A reasonable amount. Now Green is coming down from the north. Threatening with the Faust, but he activates the suppressing fire once again, slowing them down. Green is trying to crawl to the heavy cover there. Then comes the dodge. OC-51. He's got cavalry riflemen in this time. He's like, oh boy, no time for a Faust. I'm going to die if I pop that off. And he does manage to get home. 
And on top of this, we're seeing a double officer tick from C Blanco, Lieutenant and Captain. Uh, interesting build overall from him. And you know, on Vo Farmlands, it is very good for these like light vehicles, these light light vehicles such as the Universal Carrier and the OC-51 because the retreat paths are so long you can very easily get a wipe on retreat playing from the flanks house coming in and OC-51 pop out of it for some repairs but overall a good hold here from the allies outmaneuvering this MG-42 interesting he did go for MG-42 quite late in the build a five man squad inside the building. Street is not really push in there. Jump line is overwhelming in the center. Damn it. Back to up to purpose. full. Cavs back inside. And you did see me using a strategy kind of similar to what C Blanco's using here. Double officers. To get nerfed in the last patch where you know all officers cost 50 manpower more now because we are quite a lot more powerful but still interesting to see in conjunction with the uh, mechanized commander that's coming in and OC 51 yep going down there second faust and maybe even the cav rifles in trouble not quite looks like going to get away but nice suppression there overall good position from bleach shrink a little bit over eager was C Blanco trying to use the on me there to get that squad away to safety but doesn't quite work out. Now, now we're seeing a flak half track coming in for Bleach Shrinker. We get the suppression in. We have been seeing a lot more flak half track play since its suppression got buffed from 0.15 to 0.2. Had a big difference in its performance. But more reliable with its like first volley suppression now. still not overwhelmingly powerful like it was at point three way back in the day and we're seeing weapon racks see Blanco picking up a few bars and comes AC going uh, flak half track hunting Coming around the corner well misses the first shot but he's diving in for it avoids this Faust but maybe from his teammate teammate not paying attention prodigy there AC going hunting, attack rounds, finds a good one there through the hedge. Now his teammate mobilizing the green deer coming over for a Faust, but Icarus on top of it, backing away to a safe direction. Always taking the Faust. Close call there for both teams, but they will all live to fight another day. Wow, interesting. A very late 2 2 2 from Prodigy as well. damage done with it now but yeah that's quite a late one can be a bit risky you know at any moment can just get chased down by the AEC and sick machine gun wow not even a pack packs can be very hard to use on but farm it's a very big map hard to rotate it from uh, side to side to be in a relevant position all the time and wow Icarus is charging down the center going hunting for the 222 but Randy is there with the Faust. Could have potentially activated the incendiary rounds, but to counter that, there also would have been the smoke, so both players just saving their munitions. Flak up track making its way to the south. Looks like the axe is going to take control of the fuel down there, but pretty large blob into the retreat path of this green deer that could be a wipe retreats quite early on oh, there's a lot of focus fire now going for the chase down I don't think that's going to make it home not even close oh boy ok and we've also got some G43's coming in for Prodigy now can match it against a single bar rifleman but it's a little bit tougher against the double bars. 
Bars. I don't know if he's got double bars. Probably not on all of them at the very least. Actually getting a lick of suppression on the calf rifles there. Due to harassing. Rifle made into the building. Oh, we cancelled it maybe last second. Interesting. A lot of these squads low. Probably do with a retreat or maybe uh maybe those two. Some Frosty Megas deployed there down here in the south. So we get some uh, LMGs now though on these Tommies. So just a uh, single brings on both of them so far. Frosty Mega running gun and chasing them down. Oh boy, oh man. Tommy Squad in some trouble. A capture point is being overrun. Oh, 222 gets him there. We turn it up the front, but it doesn't have a bazooka on it, so not much use against the 222 either. Oh wow, forward retreat point here for C Blanco. Quite far forwards as well, that's interesting. Yeah, that 2 has actually been pretty effective, you know, having it square off against a half track or a steward or anything like that. It's uh, giving it its time to shine. You know, that late timing, but uh oh, here comes the AEC going hunting for it once more. Misses his first shot though, misses his second shot, and hits the teller. Nicely done there from Prodigy, good bait. A little bit unlucky there for Icarus. With that amount of health, probably would have killed her if both those shots had landed. 222 pumping away. Soft retreat there from C. Blanco. Carrier back pedaling. Still alive though. Let's go inside the building, jumping out. Wants to maintain control of the building. A couple of squads coming in, reinforcement. Here comes a 50 cal as well. That should help him out against the 222 as well. Rifle grenade into the cavity there, but everything's getting away alive so far. Double fuel control for the Axis though. Allies struggling at this point in time. Yeah, Chris investing quite a lot into uh, all those troop upgrades. Here comes the AT gun. Actually backing away. Oh, pops the smoke even so he doesn't take any more damage from the small arms. We have a the base artillery coming down. Gets a good hit on the MG. But that's just single howies so far, right? He still hasn't completed his tech at all, so... Not super effective with just the one howitzer. in there for some good damage. Here comes the 50 cal though. Doesn't activate the AP ammo. Suppressed. Like half track should win that these days. And there we go. Flak base getting in there. That's an infantry. Oh we got some bazookas on the rear echelon chasing away the flak half track. You get a cut off over here with the lieutenant, but that's a pretty nasty blob of G43 greens. And allies are struggling a little bit for fuel control, but C Blanco just so close to a tank, a Sherman. But every second counts, and the Axis themselves are very close to their own tanks. 10 fuel for Prodigy for his Panzer IV. They shrink a little bit further away. It's gone for a second squad of Falschenjägers though. Better than with the FG42s. Oh wow. Didn't even notice this. Tommy's got went down in the south. Maybe do a bundle grenade. And uh, drop their Bren. Oh, those Falschenjägers just shredding up close. Nice use of the camouflage there from Bleach Drinker. Bring down the sniper to turn things around. Still not very effective against the camouflage though. Oh, 
Let's focus my back on the Fulcian Jaegers. So I can finally going to be down here. Ooh, incendiary rounds. Ooh. It's away there. That was a close call. Here comes the sniper. There's that flat calf track here. I've just forgotten about it back at the base, but bring it out now. Be careful. Actually in the north. Looks like this 222 continuing to shred. 11 kills now. Close to Vet 3. Pans for in production for Prodigy. A little bit slow starting it up. See, Blanco does have his Sherman out. And he's going to upgrade that with the Dozer Blade as well. It does make it a little bit slower, but generally the extra durability is worth it. Extra armor, extra health. Just down here. Fighting the good fight. Here comes the Sherman. Don't know if we've got any more tellers around here. Doesn't look like it. But straight away, Prodigy backing away. Maybe heard this through the fog. What's taking uh, any damage there? You two coming back in, trying to bait the fire there. It's a little bit faster than the Sherman. Comes the uh, Panzer IV. Oh, and a bazooka! Wow, he dropped one of the radiation on bazookas, I guess. It's a little bit unlucky. Oh, almost gets that Pioneer squad, but they do make it home safe. And here comes the P4. Great first shot on that. Bazookas connecting. Oh, another huge shot from the Panzer IV, and here comes. The green blob to end all green blobs into the retreat part. This is going to be a slaughter for C. Blanco. One squad down. Drop their bar as well. Oh, what is he doing with the Sherman? This whole time could have been chipping in for some damage. Will the lieutenant make it home though? We did stop chasing with a couple of those squads. No, 222 finishes the job. Here comes the Sherman though. Imagine on the uh, armor piercing ammo now. Should be at least. It's a smoke, no snare. Oh, what is C Blanco doing? Everything falling apart for him here. Very poor preservation all of a sudden. Just seems completely overwhelmed. Just throwing him off his game. Okay, there you go. Forces back to Panzer IV. He lost so many units there though. Both his officers, Cav rifles. Yikes. Back to uh, high explosive rounds now that the Panzer IV is forced off. Looking for some lucky hits. In. Piece of damage. Rifleman getting low here. Ooh, so rather green it is. He crews MG42 in the middle. Drop another bow or did he lose it? No, just dropped in another bream rather. One more coming in. That's one Faust. Ooh. Can't check. Finding another squad. Might even go down here on the tree. Sometimes the flank after track's super lethal here when squads like retreat right past at close range. And the Falschenjägers get in there for a second Faust. Cromwell with the damaged engine. Still have this decrewed machine gun over here for the taking. Has a four mobilizing. Looking for the wounded Cromwell. But his teammate Sherman is nearby. And so is the uh, six pounder. Good news. The ability is ready for use. Flame mortars can be called to attack enemy structures. Oh. A command post vehicle promotion is available. Switching back over to the armor piercing rounds now with the Sherman. I think smoke on his. No, that's not. That is the crew appears. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. P4 and Sherman trading blows. Generally, you know, up post Doze Blade upgrade, the uh, Sherman will win that. 
but he keeps switching rounds between high explosive and armor piercing. You have to remember with this upgrade, you, or maybe you don't actually. It's only on the other commander. I thought he had the white fossil rounds as well, but that is uh, specific to the urban defense commander. Oh, nice attack round, but it gets abandoned. And he's going for the salvage on it <laughs> in the smoke. <laughs> Novel strategy. 10 kills on the sniper so far, pretty good. Jump up here. And here's the pack. Backs off a little bit, looking for one more shot as he exits. Pack inches forwards, doesn't quite get a second shot off. 2-2-2 going down to the 6 pounder there. Nice work from Icarus. So much... Uh, so much allied weaponry in the hands of Axis here. The bazookas, the brains. Interesting match so far. Real Cromwell coming down. Looking for the crush, looking for the kill. I have to remember that even though this does say it uh, or in the default description it says that it gives better uh, camouflage detection, that's not the case. Oh boy! Squad down there, did that get hit by the ISG or something? LAT gun's in a little bit of trouble. One of them gets decrewed. And the flame of the air working conjunction to hold back the blob, but here comes the Panther. Might be able to clear up this uh, decrewed AT gun. Cromwell on its toes, backing away quickly. And yeah, looks like he might turn over the six pounder. Oh, it's just gonna go for the destroy on it. Double Sherman's up here now. Squad down. Duke in. Switches rounds on this one, coming back in on the High House Sherman. A T grenade damage engine on the Panzer IV now, but a machine gun backing this up. A bit risky here going in with the Sherman. Back is there. One more coming forwards, looking for the recruit, and this somehow this six pounder did not get destroyed. Maybe the Panther missed a whole bunch of shots on it, trying to get it away. Yeah, you have something to say about it. Does get destroyed. I don't know. Was that by the Fulsham I think that was by the base artillery. Now Cromwell in a bit of trouble. Panther coming around the corner. Okay, uh, big losses there for Icarus though. And you can see in terms of army size, allies are quite far behind now after all those squads going down and well, that's, yeah, that's basically it. They lost a lot of squads. Prodigy uh, getting in himself a second Panzer IV now. Oh, Sherman in a bit of trouble. Dropping smoke. Kind of uh, having some parting issues. And uh, I'd say, yeah, see Blanco losing his machine gun. He really needs an AT gun or a Jackson. Panzer IV is causing him some headaches and he's having a little bit of trouble controlling his Shermans in terms of like constantly switching rounds and whatnot. Made in. Well dodged. He recovers the machine gun for the moment. Uh, charging forwards. Is that six pounder? Okay, he finds a good angle for it here. Ambulance in a little bit of jeopardy. That gets it home. Now the six pounder in a little bit of trouble. So it was a sniper, oh boy. You're focused down by the Breen. The Breen Stern Pioneer. UC going down. Axis on the rampage here. Another six pounder in the back lines though. Cromwell coming in from the side. Axis tanks getting a little bit low here, but still fighting strongly. back here but yeah a lot of losses again for the allies look at this army size differential not looking good for them right now finally see Blanco going for a jackson I know a 
few of these decreed, but still it's a pretty big disadvantage for them. Chromie coming back in. This is a six pounder. Back here. Supply line's been cut. Oh, and this Fox Media coming in from a sneaky angle from the cutoff, looking for the Faust. Panther coming forwards. Hoping to clean up on this, but the double AT guns are there. Panther gonna have to be careful. Misses his first shot. Double AT guns. Oh boy, Panther. Bounces a crucial blow. Pops the smoke. For his teammate. Oh, and the Sherman bounces as well. Cromwell gets away. But will this Panzer 4. Double Sherman's on the chase down. He's calling in the airborne assault. And here we go. The Sherman. Unable to penetrate, now one of them is in jeopardy of going down. A lot of misses here. Looks like this Sherman's going to go down though on the backswing. No, he bounces a crucial shot. Going to have the anti-tank planes coming in shortly. Double six pounders working their way into position. Goes the anti-tank planes and he does take care of the Sherman with one of those. And all of those Axis tanks uh, got away alive miraculously. Those Shermans, they got the extra durability, but they don't have any extra penetration. Still, like, you know, maybe like a 50% chance to penetrate. Maybe even worse after the uh, Panzer IV got the skirts. Jackson's here now, though. Can that finish the job? Misses its first shot, so it doesn't chase him for the kill. Just about completed repairs. Maybe use the crew repairs on or something, I'm not sure. Oh, interesting. You never upgraded the tank commander. Did get a. No. Just never upgraded it. Weird. Fighting position. Squad inside the fighting position goes down. Nice maneuvering there. Looking for the crush, though. Oh, and the Sherman gets him right at max range. That was a bit lucky. Some uh, major ID coming down on the machine gun. And lucky last shell scatter catches him as he's retreating. A couple of lucky breaks there for the allies. Another Telemine, same spot for Prodigy. Might get... no. Might get triggered by that grenade, but it doesn't. And here we go. Panther going uh, Jackson hunting. No, backing away. Want to stop the steal of the machine gun there. Oh! Okay, engine damage on that Panzer for Double six pounders here. And here comes the AVRE. Leading the charge. Got one AT gun sitting up. Smoke off from Prodigy though. Attack ground. Good work. One Panzer four goes down in the north. That one didn't smoke up early enough. Roger right, having a little bit of trouble controlling three Panzer IVs at once. It is tough, even for all those top-ranked players. Okay, Cromwell in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, AVRE. Two kills. Enemy threatening a capture point. Everything uh, just <laughs> it was a crazy. Battle so far. It's gone inside the building. Gonna take a grenade. And should be able to get away alive at least. Vehicle yeah, crew appears on the Cromwell. Take a look at army size. Still a pretty sizable lead. Maybe about 30 pop cap up on the Allies at the moment. Allies have been slowly grinding their way back after so many losses early on. And the AVRE is, is born to wipe. This thing is really nasty. Good reactions there from Prodigy. AVRE is really best because it can drive forwards and you, unlike the Stoom Pirate, uh, Stoom Tiger, you never know when it's going to fire. It doesn't have like a wind up animation where you can see the barrel raising or anything like that. So it can just like drive up to AT guns and just constantly force them off if there's not enough vehicular anti tank to force back the AVRE. Just like 
surge forwards and uh, lead to a lot of territory gain and then still end up getting the wipes later on. But how to deal with them 1v1s and 2v2s with these, you know. A little bit uh, more tanks on the field. Let's pan the back here. Oh boy. Hat gets in position. Cromwell gonna go down. Or maybe not. No. Nice attack round through the trees, and now both the AT guns are in trouble. They both of them look likely to go down as well. Oh boy. Just when the Allies start to turn things around again. AVRE. Takes engine damage itself. Obviously looking for a target. Coming around the corner for a salvage. Sneaky stuff from Bleach Drinker. Well, coming forwards, where's the snare? Ho ho ho! Here we go, finally gonna get the snare on the Panther, but Stern Pioneers go down. Teach you to salvage my gun. Oh, trouble in the north. Jackson heading up that way now. With, you know, having an extra lick of health on the Jackson, you know, takes one more shot. I mean, no, on the Sherman. Takes one more shot to go down. Just make it a lot easier to keep those humans alive. Need like a four shots and a snare. Oh boy, Falschmiega controlling the south very effectively. And uh, Firefly coming in for Icarus next. I think that's a good choice. He's had, had trouble keeping his anti-tank guns alive this game. Oh boy, as for is going in for the Jackson. Sherman is there. Six pounders there as well. Oh boy, this is trouble for both teams. What's he doing? Oh boy, oh what is he doing? He jumped out with the Jackson crew, but accidentally jumped out with the Sherman crew as well. Oh, abandoned. And he's got a vehicle crew to jump back in it with. Whoa, what a miracle for the Allies. And Prodigy lost all his tanks now. It's always a huge infantry army, but yeah, very far behind in the vehicle department. Do you know what loves fighting an infantry <laughs> army with uh, no vehicles? It's the AVRE. Taking a look at VP's very close game in that department. Both teams around 300, so still plenty of life left in this game. Beach Trinker has a ginormous army now, picking up the King Tiger. But you know, there's the Firefly, so. Guys have uh, something. Six pounders. Back in the middle, though. Five, five. Oh, takes a couple hits. Major in a bit of trouble. Oh, King Tiger. Five kills, first shot. Nailing that blob. They're really looking for a shot. Connects with the rear armor. Only does damage though, not a direct hit. Catching them on the end of the AoE. And yeah, there we go. Pairing up that Sherman. Firefly using the vehicle crew appears now a little bit late though. Doing better if it was already up and running. Very coming back again, but it's a big shot from the King Tiger. An engineer unit is ready for action. Guys, do manage to secure the north though, but losing control in other areas. Bit of a flank coming in here from Bleach Drinker. And uh, the Fox Shoot is with a Bren, a pretty strong. Jimpani is looking for a wipe on retreat. Oh, across the road. Gets one squad there. Nice work from Bleach Drinker. Oh, there we go. First wipe for it. Picking off that grenadier there. 
Now we do have quite a few anti-tank guns. See Blanco finally picking up his own anti-tank gun and Fresh Jackson, so allies rebounding now. And uh, now actually we are pretty close to even in terms of pop cap. Maybe like a 10 supply lead for the Axis. Which will be out for Prodigy. It's a you know, pretty decent anti-tank wall though. Two tank destroyers and two AT guns being used in uh, close proximity. A major recon pass coming through in the lay of the land. Probably going to see this bunker up in the center with it. So we're going to charge in, try to get to neutralize at least. Oh. Sitting up. Double packs going for the kill on the Firefly. Here comes the AVRE. Teller right there. AVRE narrowly avoiding it. Switch is back over to the other pack. This is what I was talking about. You never know when it's going to fire a shot, but oh boy. It doesn't quite shoot deep enough. Tiger rotating up to the north. Rumbi in trouble though. Jackson and Sherman looking for the kill. Oh, but he gets the killing blow there. Might lose a Jackson for the troubles. King Tiger charging forwards with the Panther. My flies there being used with the crew appears. Oh my god, Jackson abandoned. Sherman trying to escape. Yeah, are coming forwards? AT tank guns sitting up in the back lines. Good. Stunning round on the Panther there. Firefly goes down in the smoke. And uh, more smoke coming in for the Axis. Trying to neutralize these anti tank guns. AVRA pulling back. Tank going for attack round. Attack round. And there we go. Anti tank grenade from the other side. Knocking out the Panther. So a lot of losses there for both sides, but AVRE survived with that Sherman. Yep, Sherman did. So I'm not sure who came out ahead overall there, but... Could have gone, uh, could have gone a lot worse for both teams. Especially the Allies, if they didn't take out that Panther, they would have been in deep trouble. Engineers, oh, he has gone for Hammer. I don't think we've seen anything from Hammer so far. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've seen any war speeds or anything like that. Foshimiega and machine gun locking down the southern fuel and VP. Allies uh, adding another anti tank gun to their arsenal. And they have been draining on VPs. Ooh. Dropped a flamer? No, dropped a bar and he picks up the uh, whole squad. Regathers that bar. T-Gun's wheeling into position. Looks like he wants to take care of the bunker. Mm, has to back away though. Here comes the AVRE. He can lead the charge. Sometimes best to put this on uh, hold fire so it keeps the gun straight ahead rather than the machine gun uh, influencing the direction. And yeah, you, even without firing a shot, he can force a whole bunch of retreats with the AVRE. The threat is ever present as long as it's uh, on cooldown. Big shot for there from the KT. Here comes a Firefly from the other side though. Not is being the north. On the high explosive, but here come the AT tank guns. What's Proji going to go for next? He did, you know, go for tier 4. I'm very surprised he went for Brumby over the 
Tiger Ace before, but we go. You see the impact. Sherman would never be able to bounce a pack otherwise, but extra bit of armor from that Dozer Blade making the difference. Still pretty rare to bounce, but it's possible. The AVR recharging forward is going to maybe take care of this machine gun. Once again, firing it too short. And uh, Tiger Weak Point does some good damage, calling in the Airborne Assault to shut down this ally push. Machine gun does end up going down regardless to a squad of riflemen. Whoa. Jane takes down one of the planes. All AT guns in the center to battle with the King Tiger. No, battle with the bunker. Down it goes, King Tiger backing away. Oh, oh. Ooh, does find the Sherman, it's Pinto shooting at the planes, revealing itself in the fog of war. Pushing forwards, but three AT guns and the Firefly here. He's lining up the Tulip Rockets. Oh boy, that is probably going to go down here. Calling the smoke too little, too late. Boy, he had four AT guns there. I don't see that extra one. Five, <laughs> five AT guns there. <laughs> okay. Well, that King Tiger was super dead. Axis now going to need to think about getting some uh, more hearty indirect fire. The infantry support gun alone not going to be able to deal with five anti-tank guns. Nice chill rockets. Axis just having a complete lockdown in the south. Well, this is not even trying to contest anymore. But allies are getting low on VPs, ticking under 150 now. Need to turn things around quickly. We've been making a few good plays, and now, as you can see here, quite far ahead in terms of army size. Can they convert that into map control? And here comes the big boy, Tiger Ace 4 Prodigy, hitting the field. This thing a little bit better against uh, anti tank guns, I would say, than the. King Tiger since it's uh, quite a bit faster. And, uh, dodge back away from them more f much more effectively. There we go double uh, AT guns getting them there. Okay, training every shot as well with the AP ammo activated. Look how many friends he's got on these. <laughs> Yeah, anyone would think this is a default weapon upgrade for the Fox Unities at this point. Ooh, forgotten about this rifle squad. And the ISG secures the kill. That's the AVRE. Ready to fire. Back has to be careful. Double packs in trouble. Activating the target weak point. Activating the Petard Mortar and fires the Petard Mortar while stunned. Yes, that doesn't count as its main gun or something, I'm not sure. Oh, Jagdpanzer coming forwards. Triple USF AT gun and the six pounder there, but luckily a lot of misses, quite a few bounces, and the Jagdpanzer lives. Comes a Firefly though, looking for the kill potentially. Maybe just going to leave it to the rifleman. Just need one more into tank grenades. Nope, doesn't come through. Looks like the Yagpanzer's going to get away. Lucky break for the Axis. And now Triple AT guns going hunting for the uh, King Tiger. Got some major arty being dropped here as well. I think he's noticed. Notices now. Pioneers don't take. Ooh! Don't take 
I was about to say, don't take any damage, but that shell scattering into the retreat path. And we're for coming in for Pro-G. About time. Bleach Trinker. Looks like he's saving for another King Tiger. Does have, you know, all the trucks. Could have gone for a Walking Stuka at any point. And up against the AAA T guns, I think that's what they need. Gary. And that's what's to assist. Inevitably, it's gonna get you. Such a, I really hate facing up against the Gary. <laughs> you guys couldn't tell by now. Really dislike it. I think if it, if it had like an animation on its gun, it would be just like a little bit more fear. A new infantry section is ready for battle. Tank race coming to battle back. Just to maintain control of that pack, maybe. Guys now in control of the center. Here comes the AVRE already ready to fire again. Oh, it gets that at VET 1, man. 30% cooldown bonus at VET 1. That's nutty. I don't even notice. I don't even know that myself. Okay, King Tiger, I mean Tiger Ace pushing forwards. Takes a walloping. Lumped up. Looking for the Werfer though. Long range Werfer. Grazing damage on the anti tank guns. Stuka is a much better choice for that usually. the kill on the pack but Prodigy on top of his control with it by it from angle to angle and a fresh King Tiger working its way down to the south now away from the anti-tank guns maybe not for long here they come from Icarus Adult Axis have been draining uh, quite quickly down to 250 now And just so many units left down here from Bleach Shrinker. It really needs to mobilize one of these squads, I would say. Do you imagine like a couple of false Jaeger squads just coming in from the rear, just knocking out all these support weapons? That'd be nasty, but just being left in the south. Very charging forwards. Clearing out the infantry support gun. Faust, one more shot and the AVRE will go down. Can the King Tiger finish the job? Or maybe it's going to be left to the Grenadiers. One more Faust might even kill it here. King Tiger rounding the corner. Takes a walloping from the anti tank guns. Tuer gun rockets. King Tiger unable to get the shot off. Smoke coming in to cover the retreat from the Jagdpanzer. Worth it in. This time uh, knocks out a uh, six pounder. Coming back in now. The AVRE did escape, and that is the main thing for Icarus. That thing's at VIT 3 now. It's a firestorm when it explodes. It does it do more damage? I, I don't even know. I don't know the literacy too well of the AVRE. One AT guns. Forcing the Tiger Ace to blitz away. And just to steal away the six pounder though, so nice work from uh, Prodigy. Here come the anti tank guns. The tanks getting forced back. And then, uh, oh, we got a Comet in the south. Clearing out the MG34. No reaction at all there from Bleach Drinker. Busy microing his King Tiger. There are a couple shoe mines down here. Comet avoiding them all. Looking for the Falsham Jaegers, but Bleach Shrinker avoids detection. Jagdpanzer heading to the south. 
looking for the comet, but oh boy, you might find its rear armor exposed here. Tiger Ace is nearby. King Tiger mobilizing as well. But King Tiger doesn't have a uh, V1, or it doesn't even matter, it wouldn't have Blitz and V1 anymore these days anyway. Very close to it. Tiger Ace splitting down. I think to the Yak Panzer's credit though, small target size has resulted in quite a few misses there. Going down, Sturm Pioneers going down. Oh, that's still alive. Six pounder maybe. Stolen six pounder for Prodigy. Yeah, it looks like maybe that was the case. Okay, the Tiger Bros coming to the south. Finding the Comet down here. Comet parked up. Tiger misses its second shot. Not even using the crew appears or anything, just not paying attention, loses his comet. A comet tank has been put out of action. Late reactions. I don't think he would have had war speed on that either. Wouldn't have to repair at any stage. So, uh, needless loss there for Icarus. But still pretty even match. Okay, we're just about ready to fire again. Where do you want us? Depends on cautious movement mode. The dodge from the aviary, that's what it means. It looks it leaves a pool of fire behind. Double Breen's just ripping through that fault screen here. Double Breen five man hit three. That's scary. That's the Werfer. Pretty decent damage. No wipes though. The enemy are at 200 points. Okay, Double Jackson's coming in from a sneaky angle, but they hit that tower that's been there for a very, very long time. Now Pax in position to try and knock one of them out. No, nope, Yagpans is going to do that. Coming in for the Werfer though. Gets a kill on it. Jagdpanzer there. Oh, the Faust. Gonna lose two Jacksons to kill that Panzerwerfer. Oh, that's... <laughs> I bet you he's wishing that... Oh, another wipe for the AVRE. I say, I bet you he's wishing the... Uh, Major Recon Pass from Real Mines as well as everything else. I guess... Looking for an opportunity to try and kill the AVRE, but doesn't quite get the job done. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Panzer in sneak mode though. Oh. Looking for a target or opportunity. Double AT guns. Or the, every AT gun is basically here. Oh, he has to be careful, but Falschenjäger yeah, chasing them away. This is what he could have been doing for such a long time, Bleach Trinker leaving those Falschenjäger yeah, at the bottom. Not doing much for so long. Depends at the end, misses first shot, but King Tiger connecting. And there we go. Sherman goes down. Recon pass coming through. Oh, here comes the AVRE. Yeah, instant retreat from the OKW blob with the extra mobility on this as well. Such a nightmare to deal with. Oh, sneaky play here from the Tiger Ace. Finds the Firefly. He's going to fire the close range tulips, but the second one doesn't come out after the main gun got critters. Maybe it just. I'm not sure. But. Firefly does go down. Nice raid there from Prodigy with the Tiger Ace. This one's going right down to the wire. Brumbia in the north looking for units. Looks like it might have forced away something. Maybe even got the wipe on it. Three kills. Opens the door for Axis to capture the north, but they have lost control of the south. Looks like the King Tiger heading down that way now. Tiger Ace getting repaired nearby. Oh, the squad's on the wrong side of cover there. 
target, lining up a shot. <laughs> oh. like lamps and slaughter. Aviary surging forwards. I guess has to blitz away to safety, and we have so many AT guns here. Guys. Oh, the Axis just don't have the tools to punish it at the moment. Double Scots now from C. Blanco. Oh, Brumby coming in from the north, but that's triple AT guns, friend. Oh, that was a walloping. That round attempts, but he dodges out to the side. Nice work from Prodigy. Avoiding the obvious path to retreat. mobilizing once again. Another word for coming for Prodigy. Overdue. Probably should have got that instead of the Boombia. Same for Bleach Shrinker though. He's gone for another squad of Obers instead of uh, a walking Stuka man. And you're up against like five plus anti-tank guns. A walking Stuka is just the obvious choice. to make a move on in the middle but we've got two AT, uh, two machine guns here rather as well as a squad in a trench so uh, it's a bit of an immovable force spot coming in for bleach shrinker avre coming in from the north decrease the vet three pack takes engine damage but the at guns are there can take, can't really fight tiger is coming from the south though Almost getting the kill on those Royal Engineers. Here comes the Werfer. Oh, doesn't even scratch them. He's gone for a second Werfer though. Good idea. Hope is trying to force away the machine gun south and probably will be able to. Bundle grenade in. Second over takes care of him. So Axis opening up the door to capture in the south, but they have lost control in the north. And there's a machine gun up there now as well. Have we seen the second word for fire yet? Not quite. Panzer, okay. Build itself. The roof is going to come in in retaliation. Pretty good damage this time, but no decrease. And Sniper chipping away at the infantry. Brumbia clears the machine gun. Axis get control of the VPs. This one's going right down to the wire. 58 minutes in. And uh, extremely tight in terms of army sizes and VPs. Axis are uh, a decent chunk of hit. A lot of these are decreed at the moment. in a bit of trouble but Firefly taking return fire from the pack MG going down to the Tiger Ace Vet 3 on that bad boy now oh and Sniper in a bit of trouble 243 squad on the chase down 180 gun goes down as well there's a falling apart here a little bit for the allies Vet 3 Tiger Ace on a bit of a rampage Oh, and he catches the sniper on retreat. Maybe yeah, he doesn't get a wipe with that shot. And uh, King Tiger coming back out now. Blanco gonna go for. He's going for another Sherman. Fully healing up and repairing up his uh, AT guns for one last roll of the dice. But the triple cap is on. Guys need to turn this one around quickly. 
fine with for this time. Decent amount of damage. They got re decroying the pack. Six pounders squaring off against the Tiger Ace. And they're surging forwards. So is the King Tiger. X is looking to just act as a distraction with the heavy tanks. Drain off those last few VPs while the triple cap's running. King Tiger going hunting for the AVRE. Here's the Firefly though. Running off the tulips. Both connecting. Got the stun. Six pounders are there. With the AP ammo. Jagdpanzer coming forwards to return fire. A lot of bounces. King Tiger might get away. Gets stunned by the AVRE. Jagdpanzer one shot from death as well. Oh boy. Here comes the Brumbia. King Tiger very low. Firefly wants to get the kill. Pack just charges through the smoke. Firefly in trouble. Tiger Ace blitzing forwards. And the Allies gone drain out on the VPs. Oh no, they surrendered with four VPs remaining. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Back and forth match. Uh, pretty entertaining one too. Just some really good plays there towards the end. Prodigy with the Tiger Ace coming from, from, from some interesting angles. Getting a lot of damage done with the uh, Tiger Ace in the late game. One thing the Allies didn't really do is uh, plant any mines, which is often the bane of the heavy tank's existence. So a little bit of a letdown in that department. I suppose you know C Blanco doesn't really have easy access to proper mines, but Icarus didn't see uh, too much of that from him. But, you know, some nice AVR replay. Nearly got the job done for the allies this game. Well, I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye. Good luck.